Okay, what if I told you there's a wonder kid in the Venezuelan divisions of all places that's going to cost you about £500,000 and will be in the majority of your saves. You don't need a huge database to have this player in your save game. And on top of that, if that wasn't enough, if you follow what we do in this video, not only is he a good wonder kid, but you can turn him in to one of the world's best players very, very easily. That's right, everybody. It's time for another episode of Wonder Kid to Superstar and do stick with us in this one like I say not only will we show you his training plan but also I'm going to tell you how you can have him in your save and why you don't need a big database at all to find this player don't forget to like and subscribe if you do enjoy the content here on the FM Scout channel to be honest it's a bit of a lull at the minute in views in terms of YouTube content around Football Manager so any support will be massively appreciated and comment down below what player you want to see next but you'll see we are here in the Venezuelan divisions and you might look at all these teams and assume he must play for one of the big sides in the country. No, he doesn't. He actually plays for Monagas Sport Club and his name is David Martinez. But before we show you the player and everything you need to know about him, let's talk about the database you'll need to find this player. Now you'll see there's only a couple of players loaded here at Monagas, a couple in the first team and one under 20 player being David Martinez. I have not got Venezuelan players loaded. I've not got Monagas or the league that they're in loaded, nothing like that. All I've got is a Spanish first division loaded so we can test with Real Madrid and database size set to large, which is about 12,000 players out of a possible 450,000 in FM. And this player is in this save. So you really should not need a massive database to find him. Search him up at the top and you will find the 17-year-old international Martinez. Now he is a fantastic player for a bunch of reasons. Firstly, Let's talk about the main thing, the price. About a million quid at most, 500K on average is what you'll pay for this player who has a potential range of 140 to 170. So lowest end, you are going to get a Premier League level winger in the worst case scenario for 500K at full growth or best case, you are going to get one of the world's best wingers. But on top of that, he's going to be one of the best in the world just because of the attributes that he starts off with. He is so well-rounded, can do pretty much anything you want being natural on the left, the middle, or the right of those attacking midfield positions. He's a strong left footer who's on a very small contract but already has that international experience. Acceleration, agility, balance, natural fitness and pace already at a good level combined with flair, vision, penalties even, set pieces he's actually particularly good at, passing and technique as well so he can create a chance, can hit a set piece, he can dribble past his man with 13 dribbling and that flair of course with good first touch as well. Maybe not the best crosser, maybe not the best finisher but we're going to talk a little bit more about that once you move him over to Real Madrid and show you the kind of training regime we suggest you put him on. So here he is. We've moved him over to Real Madrid using the in-game editor. In some countries, he might not want to join you straight away because of his age. It's going to depend on what team you're managing, but check him out, scout him and try and bring him to your club as soon as you are able to. But you'll see his potential rating in terms of stars isn't the highest right now, but don't worry about that. That will fluctuate massively during this simulation. But let's get on to the important thing. Firstly, he is being mentored by some of the better personalities at the club like Modric, Nacho Fernandez, I think is another one and he definitely needs a personality improvement in this save because his determination is very low at four now if that is putting any of you off don't worry mainly because that is a randomized attribute in your save it will be different and two I've done this simulation and as much as determination is a great attribute to have I decided to leave the determination low and not reload to get a better version of Martinez purely because I want to show you that even with low determination players can still grow at a very high level he will still reach his potential in this save irrespective of that determination. So bear that in mind. But then we get on to the training regime that we've got him on. That is, of course, going to depend on what role you want to play him in. Personally, I like a player to be on the opposite wing that their footedness is. So because he's left foot, I want him on the right. You could play him as a number 10 through the middle, but being 17, I'm not going to let his crossing or finishing put me off making him an inverted winger or an inside forward, purely because I think that's going to develop a lot over the next few years. And for that reason, I'm going to use him as a role that I like, which is inside forward. Now, depending on where you want to use him will depend on that additional focus. If you're looking at having him as a winger or inverted winger, get that crossing up. If you want him to be someone that scores goals like an inside forward, then have him getting that finishing up. Alternatively, you could work on his decision making and composure, but I really just think shooting or crossing are really going to help him. So that's where I suggest you place your additional focus. But as always, as we do in Wonder Kid to Superstar, I'm not 
not going to adjust that. I'm going to leave him on basic training for determination, and you're going to see just how good he will be even with those parameters set. So remember how cheap you can get him, and now let's see him on the lowest end of that potential range. And here we are in 2027. So a few years have passed. Martinez is now 21 years of age and he hasn't actually grown massively just yet. But don't worry, I'll talk about why. But this is the kind of player you'll see in the worst possible growth, the worst version of him. He hasn't actually even reached his 140 potential minimum yet here. He's still about 136 current ability right now. So worst case, your Martinez will likely look a lot better than what we're seeing here, which goes to say something. Considering his value is now 50 million, he's got 26 international appearances. He's very good physically, great mentally, and very good technically now as well. He's ironed out a lot of the weaknesses that he did have. And when it comes to on-the-pitch performances, he has done very well. Now, this is where you'll see why he hasn't really grown too much. That's because for registration reasons, when I holidayed ahead, he wasn't picked for the team. So he wasn't selected to be registered. So he wasn't getting the game time here at Real Madrid. But season one, we did register him. He scored eight goals and got four assists in 22 appearances. Spent two years developing, but not playing first team football and then when he finally got his opportunity boy did he take it 21 goals 10 assists 8 from the penalty spot so not the craziest amount of penalties 36 games played 7.27 average match rating so he's already doing that even at the worst possible version of David Martinez that you could possibly have he's not played much football he's had no determination in this save and he is still done that well so now let's see just how good he can be at his maximum before we see Martinez at full growth though, I just want to let you guys know I do have my own channel linked in the description. It's more football manager content, but more entertainment based than what we do on FM Scout, which is a little bit more informative. So if you like football manager rebuilds and come check out the channel. Also, if you enjoy this FM content about Wonder Kids, I also do YouTube shorts about Wonder Kids you might not have heard of. So that might take your interest too. Any support over there will be massively appreciated. But let's check out David Martinez where I'm sure you'll be appreciating his attributes because he is absolutely phenomenal. Considered a four and a half star player now here at Real Madrid, 27 years of age, valued at 100 million pounds, acceleration, agility, balance and pace, stamina, natural fitness, all at a great level. Mentally, he is fantastic. 16 leadership, 16 off the ball work, 17 vision, 16 flair, decision making, composure, all while having a determination of six, by the way. And then technically, he's got the technique, got the passing, got the first touch and the dribbling, can also play a set piece still, hit a long shot can finish well and has decent crossing too yes we could have targeted some of those areas more with additional focus but this is how he'll look without any of those additional focuses in place he'd be a very good number 10 creator he's good on the right hand side as well we've been using him as an inside forward and as you know he tore it up when given the opportunity in 2026 and since then he's only gone from strength to strength one season scoring 27 and assisting 10 and that's the kind of level he's been playing at one year very recently he scored 26 assisted 9 7.42 average match rating consistently hitting over seven average match ratings which is incredible for a player who only cost 500,000 pounds from Venezuela but of course we simulated to the end of his career so let's see how well he did and there you go. This is Martinez at the age of 34, a Venezuela legend. And if we have a look at his performances on the pitch, he'll be a Real Madrid legend as well. He's only got better, doing very well, other than his most recent season, where he was still impressive for a 34-year-old, but definitely starting to disintegrate now. Disintegrate? Deteriorate. I hope David Martinez isn't disintegrating. He's only 34 years old. He's not that old yet that he's going to start flaking away. But either way, he has been fantastic in terms of his attributes, his growth, even with all the parameters that were set for him at the start. He should be in most of your saves. He's a bargain. He's done so well in the in-game engine, was runners-up for a Ballon d'Or on two occasions in this simulation, but never quite won it. Either way, though, a top-level player, someone that you all need to check out. And for that price, I think any team in the world should be going for David Martinez.